Hello, I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Quest for Glory. Last time I said we were going to go into Castle Spielberg to glean some more information about our quests, but you know what? I feel like slaying something. I'm a hero, and heroes slay things. So we're just going to uh, walk into the forest, see if we can get into battle with anything. Hmm, this place seems... Oh, what, what was that? What was that? What was that? The late frost of winter gave way to the greenery of spring. Okay, so I guess all these eyes are just, uh, for decoration. Ash, Christmas, or maybe scrub oak. Do you really care what kind of tree this is? Yes, I do. Or maybe I don't. That's a fir. That's a scotch pine. And it's, <laughs> I guess, whenever the, uh, oh, maple. Fortunately for it, you're not a sap sucker. Regardless of your tummy color. Ha <laughs> ha! I guess whenever the hero doesn't know what kind of tree a tree is, he gets kind of snippy and uh, like, Hey, I don't care anymore! But oh, hey, that's a redwood. I don't care about that tree, that's a scotch pine. We got a bit of a tree connoisseur. So let's do a little bit of rock on rock action. It doesn't work. That's because I have my money pouch equipped. I guess I have to select the rocks and throw rocks around. Yay! Rocks to everything! And, uh, yeah, I I'm mucking around because I have reached a dead end, or at least what I perceive to be a dead end. Throwing off the remaining rocks in this area, sort of adding more to the pile, and I wasn't exactly wasting my time, except when I accidentally select my talk function. I was doing that to increase my throwing capability. My throwing is at 9, and I don't seem to have expended any stamina to do so, so I probably could just cycle through, picking up rocks, like so, and then switching the rocks through my item menu, and heaving them at the other rocks, so why... <clears throat> Okay, enough of that. My throwing ability is now at 20! And I seem to have gained another point of stamina. I guess when you don't do anything that expends stamina, you're slowly regaining it. And I'm actually building up my throwing ability for the reason that thieves like to use knives in throwing. Oh, there seems to be a fox north of the road. Help me, brave and kind hero. Hmm. Hmm. Please help me, brave and kind hero. <laughs> of course not, I'm gonna help it. Yeah, I sprung the trap. I'm such a sweetheart. In exchange for your kindness, I will give you some advice and a bit of information. First of all, sometimes it pays to be polite, even to rude people. As for the amusing tidbit, Baba Yaga put an enchantment on the Baron's daughter some years back. To break the spell, you need to talk to the Dryad. Au revoir. Ta-ta for now. Be seeing you. Okay, so... Apparently, we've got some information about Baba Yaga, the villain so far of this game, who is being very mean to the Baron of Spielberg. So... I guess if we ever find a dryad on our travels, we must talk to it about Baba Yaga. Wait a minute, was that fox talking? <laughs> Enough wandering around, let's go to this snowy area over here. What? Far from the frost field, fares forth this fighter. Hunger has hurled me hither from home, okay? I am gonna stop that, I... I... Don't think that's very conductive. That's not very productive to my perception of respectability. His name is Broggy, bartender with the Blades Clash, or Boggin with me. I do not want to barter with your Blades Clash. You seem to be very skilled with that thing. So let's just get a look at you. He is a frost giant. That is a very astute assumption there. Uh, let us talk about Broggy. To Boast of my boldness, strong as the storm that sends forth the snow. 
I have a feeling that he speaks in poetry every single time, so I'm going to serve as kind of a translator. Fear now, this frost giant fighter, and flee. Well, I would fear you and flee if I were a fighter, but I am a thief. And for some reason, thieves are more uh, inclined towards fleeing, but I will not flee because I am a thief, not a fighter. That makes sense. So you come from the Northlands, and you've already told us how your hunger has hurled you from your home. So I guess the uh, Northlands are kind of short of food if Bragi has been sent all the way here. What's this about a bargain you were talking about? He wants fruit to fill his mead horn and he will give me a gift of a gem that now glows does that mean that this gem was not glowing before ha ha I am going to play mind games with you jewel from Jotunheim flare of the frost flame fetch to me fruit that will fill up my fists it looks like it will take a lot of fruit to fill up those fists so, uh, I have here, uh, ten small apples. Is that gonna do, Froggy? Your meager selection of fruit makes a paltry pile at the bottom of the giant's cupped hands. You'll need to get quite a few more apples to fill those hands. Seems he's stopped, uh, swinging his thing. Maybe we've, uh, we've got a little rapport now that I've given him apples. But not so much, so, um... He wants fruit, so he'll give me a gem. Wonder how much fruit it's going to take to really get him to, uh, you know, be satisfied. He can give me that gem. Fiercer than frostbite, my fury is fearless. My axe, it is edged as is the ice! Oh my goodness, on my own time, I would just soak this up. The battle axe blazes and bellows for blood. Well, not my blood, because I gave you apples. Right, so... The side quest prompt. Get more fruit for Brogy. Hero up, because I've actually done quite a bit. Hey, it is a thing! Hostile intent is evident. You prepare for battle. This is the battle screen with battle music. I am going to use continuously jab you. Jab, jab, stab, stab. Oh god. I won! Yay! You search your opponent. You find four silver coins and carefully place them in your pouch. Anything else? You've already done that. Okay, now that I've won my first battle, run! Because... I saw my uh, SP bar, which I can only imagine stands for a stamina. Oh my goodness. I have one stamina. I can't do anything ever again for the entire day. But look at my increase in agility, vitality, intelligence, strength, weapon use, experience, and magic points. I have nine magic points. My goodness. Now, if only I can give myself a healing or stamina spell here. Uh, run back to town, run back to town. I have successfully slayed a thing. What do you think about that, Meisterson? He, uh, he doesn't really say much. Okay, then. Uh, so... I am really low on stamina, so I wonder, uh, is the hero's tail in? really that much really that much better than just sleeping on the ground let us see walking into the door hello Shamin sit drink yes so if I were to give you so how much uh, money was it to get a room anyway a night's rest five silvers well I I'm only really spending one silver in the most... Oh, it's too early to go to bed. You don't feel tired enough to sleep. I don't feel tired enough to sleep. I have two stamina points out of 24. Unless uh, my health is what determines how tired I feel. 
Right. So how much money do I have now anyway? I looked at it before. I have four gold pieces and eight silver pieces. Now, a gold piece is worth ten silver pieces. So, in the most direct sense, I have 48 silver pieces. And I recall that one of the magic spells from Zara's shop cost... Why did you do that, hero? It cost uh, a, a potion. cost 50 silvers. So, I... Uh, seems I'll have to actually get... grind up some money before I can really get onto the good stuff. So I'm going to spend a little more time tossing rocks around. Yes! Rocks everywhere! of rock throwing. My throwing skill is now up to 26. And uh, my stamina has regained by 3 overall since the uh, battle with the ogre enemy thing. I think that's uh, enough stamina to at least not keel over at the first sign of overextending myself. And there is a guy over there. So, I'm feeling rather heroic about talking to that guy. Hello, sir. Next to the town wall, you notice a man who appears to be waiting for someone. His dagger looks like a particularly deadly weapon, and the thief handles it with great skill. Well, looks like someone that I'd like to aspire to be. Hello there. What's in it for me? If you give me a silver, I might have a bit of info you can use. Oh, well, I picked four silver off of uh, an ogre that I slayed, so here you go. You may give one silver, two silver, two gold, or ten gold. I have a feeling that this is either setting up for a tremendous ripoff, or giving the ten gold might actually give something. But another silver... I can tell you where to find the Baron, Baba Yaga, or some goblins with a lot of treasure. So if you want some information, hand me some cash. Okay, then. I will hand you another silver as one thief for an another... What? Okay. Okay, what do you want to know? So can I talk to you now? Okay. You... Whoops. You did something we weren't expecting. Whatever it was, you didn't you don't need to do it to finish the game. Try taking a different approach to this situation. Error four, SCI version, what is this? So I hit the escape button while I was in a menu. That seemed to have wigged the game out. So let us go ahead. I didn't save anything after heroing up, so my silver is uh, safe. I will try again, and it looks like the fates that be have cheated this man out of the two silvers that I gave him, thinking he would give me good information. So I'll give you two silver. What do I want to know? Okay. Let us ask you about your name first. Just call me Bruno. And it looks like he's not going to just deny us. Like, you know how he could have easily said, Hey, I told you some information. More money. All right, so what about Bali Yaga? She's an ugly hag who lives in a weird house. Who knows the magic? Her place is due west of the Baron's place. Can't miss it. Huh. If it's so easy to get to, I can only imagine it's not wise to go there right now. And for two gold, I'll tell you how to get to her hut. I think I'll be holding on to my gold right now. Let's see what you have to say about the Baron. Take the road north from the MSC Healers and you get to his castle. Well, I already knew that. But thank you, fellow thief. Lots of monsters in this valley. Most of them are wimps, though. I know, right? I mean, I only almost died trying to fight one of them. Oh, and I can even ask about... Okay, I want to know what an Antwerp is. Yeah, the Antwerp was a good monster for you to fight. It loves to play. 
I will have to make sure to fight one later down the line. These pests are just northwest of the cemetery. They're a bunch of wimps. I know, right? And the warlock, a magic user, and he laughs a lot. That's all he knows. Something else. What about the healer? What do you know about the healer? She's got some good potions. Her, her, her hut is just due north of here. Well, you've actually been really helpful. Thank you, fellow thief, for your hospitality. If you want a good time, try the dragon's breath at the bar. No, thank you. You can try the dragon's breath. That isn't to say I wish any sort of, uh, fade on you. It's just, we know all about that. The hero doesn't, and that's pretty much for the best. Okay, so I'm extremely low in stamina, showing that it is really easy to lose your stamina. So I want to see what kind of potions this lady has to offer. Stamina, healing, mana, and undead. My goodness. And it will cost us two gold for stamina. So maybe I ought to hold off on uh, making any sorts of purchases until I have, you know, looted a bunch of monsters. And what more fitting of a screen? You know what? That bird standing here having that bird chirp at me. I'm just going to go right up ahead. And we are at Kessel Spielberg at long last. Next time on Let's Play Quest for Glory, we are going to enter Castle Spielberg to see what we can figure out about our quest, the state of the Baron's family, and other things. Until then, game out. Birds.